I think the one message that I'd like tribes to come away with is that people are hungry for a story associated with, um, with their food. And we as Native people, we have that connection to the food. We have, we, we hunt, we fish, we gather. Um, we do all these things as, as part of who we are. My dad was born in uh, Harsing Island and fished on a river ever, all his life. From here, this is, well, I was born right in this, on this property here. I've never moved away. It started when I was about 14, 15 years old. We've always had uh, three or four different uh, fish buyers here, and usually there would be it would come down to just two buyers toward the middle of the season. By now, when the run is going good, it would drop to two, two and a half to two dollars a pound, and down from that toward the end of the year. If you're going to make something whole. You start with what's been there the longest, and we've been salmon people my whole life. So we started the Added Value Salmon Marketing Committee, and the whole goal is to sustain a, a market price for the fishermen to live and, and support their families on. fishing for fish right now, but as the tribe, what we did is we're stepping in and we're purchasing the fish from the fishermen at $3 a pound. And that's a sustainable price. Like a guy can make a good living on $3 a pound. And what we're doing as a tribe is we're processing it, packaging it, and we're reselling it back into the Red Wing Casino. So Reuben is actually fishing for his own people, much like he's done for, for Reuben's all across the state have done, you know, they, they fish for their own people. See how they're, that looks like they're hitting there. He got in his boat this morning with his grandson and they went down the river and they uh, checked their nets, they looked for salmon, they, they put it in the boat, they brought it back, they brought it to the shore, we were waiting for them. Uh, we paid more than, than the market price at that point, uh, gave him some cash and we grabbed the fish, we took the fish and uh, took it to have it processed for their own casino. Yeah, take a look at that. All right. So the reason we're buying uh, the Nisqually fish is because one, the quality is there. Number two, the taste is right where we want it to be. And it's a, it's a great product. Not only that, but it lines up with our, our mission statement um, that we have here at the Red Wing Casino, and that's to, to continue to develop and uh, the economic development, excuse me, of the uh, Nisqually tribe and the neighboring communities. The salmon marketing program really gives us an opportunity now to invest in our community, invest in our fishermen, and it's uh, really a golden opportunity for tribes to take advantage of what's at hand. Um, the, the marketplace is really asking for the message that we have and we need to present that and this program does it. Where I have salmon, Umatilla has wheat, Yakima has buffalo, Stiligwamich has buffalo. And, and this is all part of that big picture, the Buy Indian Initiative. So our pilot program here is basically to sustain a, a, a livable price, a livable market, a livable fishery, so it doesn't disappear. This is what we're doing. This is what we're trying to do through AT&I. One tribe can't do it by themselves because when one tribe does it by themselves, it creates a competition amongst other tribes. And we worked with Swinomish today. We worked with uh, Quinault today. We're trying to figure out how we can market this as a whole. In my mind, the numbers are the best together. We tribes would work better in marketing things together. 
We're all part of AT&I, Affiliated Tribes of Northwest Indians. We're all members. Why not use that tool to do what we're doing now? So the pilot program within the Squally Tribe is a roadmap. It's a roadmap for the AT&I member tribes to stand strong and to join together to get this accomplished. So join us.